Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to design and brand customized exercise books for schools. Whether you are a designer, a teacher, or even a business owner, this tutorial will give you the steps to create unique and professional exercise books. So let's get started. To get started, open your design software. I'll be using CorelDRAW today. Open a new document and set your page to centimeters. Use 17 cm by 21 cm. Use 300 dpi for high quality printing. Okay. When you are done with that, what you are going to do is you are going to draw in your rectangle here using the same dimension of your page. 21, 17 by 21 centimeters okay the next thing we are going to do now is for us to bring in all our design resources select all your resources and power clip them into the square we drew earlier okay let's bring them one side Okay, what you are going to do is, I'm going to use this school block as a background on the top. Then I'm going to add a transparency effect to that school block. Convert this to bitmap so that you will be able to transparent this side as well okay when you are done with that bring in your logo bring in your logo here make sure you size it very well the next thing we are going to do now is for us to add the name of the school. I'm going to design for Faith Academy. Increase your fonts. I'm going to use Time New Romance for this design. Okay, after doing that, we are going to bring in some creativity into this design. Okay, what you are going to do now is for you to draw in a square here and add a color. Remove the outline. What next you are going to do is for you to draw in another square. Change this square to curve by pressing Ctrl Q on the keyboard. Then come to your shape tool, double click on the line and drag it down. You can, you can play around your creativity in your design. Okay, I'm going to use a color. I'm going to add a color to this. And I will remove the background. I'm going to duplicate these objects that I have just drawn here now. I will duplicate it all. Then I will add a different color field in this. Let's use interactive field to have it to make it great and appealing. Then at this side, I'm going to add this other color. Then I will take it behind. Can you see what I'm doing? Follow me. I will also duplicate this as well. I will take it behind. Then I will turn this. I will mirror this horizontally. 
so that it will give a different perspective at this position, different gradient color at this position. Can you see that right now? Now, our design is going to be very beautiful, following step by step. Okay, let's work on these children now. I'm going to add a circle here. And I will power clip these children inside the circle. Right click the children inside the circle and click power clip. Now let's adjust this power clip. Double click on the object and open the power clip. Let's adjust it so that all of them can fit into the circle. Okay, this is looking great now. After doing that, position it very well. After positioning it very well, draw another circle around it. And set the circle behind. I'm going to use I'm going to use interactive fill for its color. The same color we use for the for other objects. I'm going to use it there. Then for the feel of these children, I'm going to use I'm going to use white. Select the two objects, the two circles, and remove the outline. This is becoming beautiful. What next I'm going to do? I'm going to bring this beautiful girl down here. I will turn it this way. Okay. After bringing this beautiful girl here, what is remaining for you to do? is for you to add where these children are going to write their name, their school, and dates. Okay, simply click on your rectangular tool, your rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle down here. Zoom it out so that you can see what you are doing. Use white for the few colors. Duplicate it and drag it down. I'm going to use four of these. Select all at the same time and drag towards your left and duplicate it. Let's use blue colors. Remove the outline for all of them. Then after doing that, you are going to add name. Home school. Subjects. And dates. Name, school, subjects, and dates. Okay, let's use name school subject and class this is most important please don't always forget to add these all these details in your exercise books because these are very important as far as exercise book is concerned add all these details in your exercise book don't always forget to do that I'm using my shape tool to drop this and extend this text to make sure it fits very well. Let's use white color for it. If you like, you can bold this text so that it will come out very well. Okay, the next thing I'm going to add to this, I'm going to add 60 leaves. I'm designing a 60 leaf exercise book. You can design any 
any one of your choice but for this tutorial i'm designing 16 exercise group okay let's write here 60 then we come here and we write lips bring the 60 leaf inside your circle and give it white color after giving it white color you can choose to hold your 60 reduce it so that it can fit very well bring your leaves down here and make sure it aligns very well at a good position now let's add some details to this can you see that our exercise book is becoming beautiful let's add some finishing touches to this you can decide to add this school bag down here This is optional, but this will make the bag look more beautiful. Okay, let me add some gradients on this color so that it will look great. Okay, there is one thing before we are done that I'm going to do here. I'm going to add, going to add here, nursery, okay, after doing that, zoom it out so that you can see that position very well. Here, I'm going to use a different color to give it a better readability among these three texts. Okay. After this, we are done with your exercise book. Your exercise book is ready. What you are going to do is finally for you to add the address of the school. Change your color. You can change your color to yellow. Whenever you are using your color on your background, make sure your color is readable on that background. Always keep that in mind. Make sure your color is readable within that background that you are placing that color. Can you see this? This is looking nice. You can do something like this. Maybe you choose white here. Choose white here. And your design is ready. Now finish this power clip and close it. Let's see a close view of everything that we have done so far. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more design tips and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.